Thanks, Riaz. Three people are in critical condition due to carbon monoxide poisoning in Abbotsford. Two small children and a woman in her mid-20s were rushed to hospital after they were found unresponsive in a vehicle last night. They appear to be suffering from carbon monoxide poisoning near the scene of a one-vehicle crash on Claiborne Road near Highway 11. Police are investigating the cause of the crash. Anyone with information is asked to contact Abbotsford Police. A Christmas Day shooting in North Vancouver has left a 25-year-old man dead. Officers were called to an address on Slaylin Crescent just after 8 p.m. That's where police found a man with gunshot wounds. He was pronounced dead on scene. Police have identified him as Rock Habib Duma of North Vancouver. He was known to police but did not have a criminal record. Officers believe the shooting was targeted. Anyone with information is asked to get in touch with police. A heavy police presence in Chinatown last evening. Police tape blocked off a large portion of Main and Pender Street. Several officers and evidence markers were scattered throughout the area. Vancouver police still haven't said what happened. TransLink buses were also rerouted. Regular service has since resumed in that area. Abbotsford police are investigating after a body was found in a pond on a rural property. The discovery was made Tuesday afternoon. Officers are not calling the death suspicious. The investigation is in the early stages, though. The name, age, or the cause of death have not been released. RCMP are asking for your help in finding a missing woman from Surrey. Lois McLean was last seen on Christmas Day at 2.20 in the afternoon. She was in the 17600 block of 64th Avenue with her small, hairless dog. She is described as a 77-year-old Caucasian woman, 5 feet, around 120 pounds, with short white hair and brown eyes. She was last seen driving a burgundy Hyundai. Police say it's out of character for her to be out of touch for this long. Anyone with information is asked to contact Surrey RCMP. And Vancouver police are also looking for a missing senior. Glenn McKim was last seen on Christmas Day walking on Lamey's Road near Birch Street. The 75-year-old is believed to be disoriented and confused. He was last seen wearing khaki pants, black running shoes and a multicolored coat. Anyone with information on his whereabouts is asked to get in touch with police. Well, thieves have ruined Christmas for one family in Langley. The mother says almost every single present for her children was stolen from their truck. Ashley Burr explains. First thing I thought was, like, how are we going to tell our children that all their gifts are gone? It's the last thing you'd expect on Christmas Day, a real-life Grinch stealing all of your children's presents. Well, for a devastated Langley mother, that's exactly what happened to her young family. After her truck was allegedly broken into on Christmas night and the gifts her children had received just that morning were taken. Big smiles on Christmas morning for Anna Lou and Miles Murphy's eight-year-old son and four-year-old daughter as they unwrap their gifts. But after spending Christmas night at the in-laws in Abbotsford, this couple says they woke up to this. The window to their truck smashed and their children's presents gone. Like, don't have anything for them anymore. And it's not like we have a baby on the way. It's not like we can go out and go be spending extra money or doing things like that and then paying for the deductible to have the vehicle fixed is just stress and a headache. The only gift not taken was the family's four tickets to the World Junior Championship at Rogers Arena, which the family tried, unsuccessfully, to sell Boxing Day morning because they needed the money. Actually, my vehicle broke down on Christmas Eve, so we don't have either of our vehicles right now, and getting out here was going to be a problem. Uh, we managed to get our sister-in-law to drive us, which was really kind of her to do. And um, But, yeah, just like we were thinking, like, at this time, having some money to go towards the deductible and maybe getting a few gifts back for them would be more ideal than going to a game at this point. The couple is trying to keep their spirits up, talking to their kids about how Christmas isn't all about toys, while also holding out hope that if the gifts aren't returned, they will at least go to a good place. But there were a bunch of kids' toys that got stolen. I just hope that that's where they're going, the kids, because I don't see why adults would want something like that, right? So Yeah. Maybe made some kids' Christmas good. So, yeah. Yeah. In Vancouver, Ashley Burr, City News. Okay, it's 7.06. Time for some BT Views. Yes, let's have a look at a beautiful BT View, not a local.